Hello, and welcome to this week's installment of Wagtail Wednesdays. In today's video, we're going to show you a quick way to reorganize your admin interface to make it simpler for your content editors to focus on just the content. Here, we have a basic example page that I've set up, which includes a field for an author, a date override field, and some checkboxes here that dictate whether Wagtail should post or share to these various social media platforms. Finally, at the bottom here, we have our rich text field for our main post content. It'd be great if we could move these non-content fields to another tab. You'll notice that by default, Wagtail creates these promote and settings tabs and displays some extra fields there already. The first thing I'm going to show you is how we can move these fields from our content tab to each of these other two tabs. So let's say we'll move out the author and sharing settings to the promote tab and our date override to the settings tab. Here in our models.py, you can see our various fields being passed into this content panels list. Anything passed into the content panels list will display in the content tab in the admin interface. If we define a new list down here called settings panels and pass in the date override, we should see that the field has now moved to the settings panel in our admin. We're actually going to make this equal to page.settingsPanels plus our list of fields. This way we won't override the Wagtail defaults for that tab, like scheduled post date. So, if we go back and also move the author and sharing settings to another list called promote panels, equal to page.promotePanels plus our list of fields, we should now see in our editor that the panels have appeared in the Promote tab this time. While splitting fields between these three tabs might be sufficient, I wanted to show you how you can create your own custom tabs, which gives you even more freedom to organize your fields however you'd like. To create our own tabs, we need to make our own tabbed interface object and use that to override the default value of the page.edit.handler attribute. Firstly, we need to add two imports at the top here. Let's import tabbed interface and object list from wagtail.admin.edit.handlers. The next thing that we want to do is create a new list for our custom tab, which we'll call custom tab panels, and just move our author, date, and social fields into this new list. Now we can override Edit Handler with a new tabbed interface which takes in a list of object lists. For each object list, we'll pass in a list of panels and a heading. Let's add our custom tab panels with a heading of just custom tab. If we refresh our editor window, we'll see that our custom tab has appeared and contains the fields we assigned to it. Unfortunately, the other tabs and fields they contained have disappeared. This is because we overwrote the edit handler, but didn't pass these tabs in. So let's go back and sort that out. In the tabbed interface list, we need to create new object lists for the content, promote, and settings tabs. You could also use this opportunity to rename those default tabs, if you'd like, by giving them a different heading. For the settings object list, we'll also pass it a class name attribute with the value settings. This will ensure that it gets its cog icon next to the heading in the tab. Thanks for watching our quick video tutorial on organizing fields into different tabs. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. You can also sign up to our mailing list for early access to these videos. You'll find the link in the description below. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.